The doctor said you shouldn't do the exams. Forget it. He got up, went to the school, wrote the rest of the exams. And um, the friends were asking him, so what about the first paper? He said, oh, I'm the best student in that paper. I've passed. They, uh, maybe the sickness entered into your head. You have passed. The people in the jail right? have passed. Now, do you know what God did? When the results were coming in, it was reported that there were some uh, practices during the exams. So the entire paper was cancelled. That is the one he, he did not write. Amen. Everything was cancelled. And then they didn't have time to write the exam. So the authorities said that, okay, what we are going to do to pass these students, we are going to fall on their previous one that they did to pass them, to let them go through. And that one, he was the best student. So they went back to the previous one and they graded them and he had his A+. Plus. He told his friends, I told you I was the best in that subject. Amen. I was the best in these exams. <laughs> and that was how he went through. Amen. You know, the point is, you can believe God for anything. But the problem is that we try to analyze God with our little logical mind. God says something and we are figuring it out according to physical circumstances how it will happen but you have forgotten he said i'm the god of all flesh is there anything to have for me god can turn a woman into a man right now physically and he can turn a man into a woman right now if he could make a donkey to speak when the prophet became greedy for money god caused a donkey to talk they move on, the donkey says, I'm not going. Beat them, beat the donkey says, Ah, but master, don't you see an angel in front there? Donkey. So understand, you see, when we take time to know God, you wouldn't have problem believing him. He is God. Now, do you know why he breaks his heart so much when we doubt him? But anytime we doubt God, we are saying that you are not who you say you are. That's why he breaks his heart. Because he's God. He is God. God is God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we have to take time to know him. You know, let me give you one verse in scripture. That is the key to unlock every miracle and breakthrough in your life. And that is Mark 9.23. That's all. Mark 9. That is the condition. Mark 9.23. If thou can believe all things are possible. Amen. He didn't say, if thou kill all the devils, then everything will be possible. No! If thou can believe all things, he didn't say some things, all things are possible to him that believe. All things. I saw something this morning, Matthew 15, 13. Every plant which my heavenly father has not planted shall be rooted up. All things are possible. Every plan my father did not plan shall be rooted up. All things are possible. Therefore, anything in your life that is not of God, you must believe God for the uprooting of that. Everything. Everything. Faith is so important that God put it above everything. In the book of Ephesians, he said, above all, take up the shield of faith. Above all. After you have put on all the armor, above it all, take up the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench the fairy darts of the devil. Faith is what we use to quench all the fairy darts of the devil. Hebrews 11 makes us to understand the subdue nations by faith, they shut the mouth of lions by faith, they got their blessings, but everything by faith. And in Ephesians, he said, above all, taking up the shield of faith. Taking up the shield of faith. Taking up the shield of faith. Amen. Taking up the shield of faith. Above all, all things, if only thou can believe, that's the condition, if thou can believe, all things are possible to him that believe. If thou can believe, if thou can believe, please, let's take time to know God and let faith get into our heart because our God is able to do everything. All things. Amen. And whatever was not planted by my father should be uprooted. Anything. Sicknesses, diseases, poverty, lack, problems, 
broken law. Everything that is not of God must be uprooted. But your faith is the determining factor. If only thou can believe. If only thou can believe. Whatever you believe is what becomes. That is why if you believe witches are powerful, you will see them powerful in your life. If you believe they are toothless bulldogs, they will be toothless bulldogs. If you believe, if you are not guessing and deep down in your heart, you really believe that I'm the child of God, any forces that come against me will be crushed. If only it is in your heart, that is what you will see. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you believe that I am the child of God and the Bible says whatsoever I desire, I will have it. Therefore, what this is what I desire and no devil can stop me from getting it. Faith must be in your heart first. Faith. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. And quickly let me say this. There is proof of faith. Faith is not passive. Faith is action. Very, very active. Because James made us to understand <coughs> in the book of James 5, Praise the Lord. No, not James 5. James 2. James 2, 17. Let's see what he says there. James 2, 17, the Bible says, Even so faith, if it has not works, is dead. So there's what the Bible called dead faith. That is, oh God, I believe it. Oh yes, I believe it. Yeah, I believe it. And then you go to bed. The Bible says it is dead. And anything dead does not produce Let's go to the next verse, 18. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. So the proof of our faith is in our action, the works. If you believe it, you act it. If you believe it, you behave it. If you believe it, you walk in it. That is what brings the results. Like I said, the man's legs was crooked. Jesus said, rise up and take your bed. And he made an attempt to stand up. He didn't say, Jesus, how can I stand up? My leg is still crooked. No. Rise, take your bed. Okay, sir. And the miracle happened. Action. Until you put in the action, you will never see the result of your faith. Action is what triggers the results. And action is the proof of the belief in your heart because until you believe it, you will never act it. Until you now, you know why no devil can stop me from paying my tithes and offering? Because it's in my heart, I believe in it. I don't need anybody to preach it to me, I don't need anybody to persuade me, I don't need to be reminded. I never forget it. And God is my witness that I will say, Oh, this man, oh God, I'm sorry. Oh God, you know I forgot. You know it wasn't intentional. Never. Never. Because it's in my heart. It is part of me. I believe in it. I do it excitedly. I do it. Why? Because I believe in God's word that says, do this thing and I will open the windows of heaven. I believe in the Bible that says, if I don't do it, I'm robbing God. And who am I to rob God? Tiny person like me robbing Almighty? Faith is action. Faith is actually, the Bible says, he that winneth so is wise, and the wives are shine like the brightest of the stars. He that, and I believe in it, so I don't need you to push me to go win souls. Because I want to shine like the stars in the firmament. I believe in it, so I behave it. I behave it. Yeah. Glory be to Jesus. So until action has been put in place, faith is dead. And everything dead does not produce. So we have a lot of believers with dead faith in church. Nothing is happening. Oh, why? Well, we are believing God. But we are not seeing, you are not believing any God. If faith is in the heart, action will follow. The woman said, if I may touch the hem. And he, she didn't sit down. She stood up with all the weakness in her. Started pressing. That is faith. Faith. He was putting faith into action. If if I could touch, if I could touch, now give me way. I have to touch. Faith. But people say they believe God and they are sitting down. 
the Bible says they grow from strength to strength. Everyone, 